Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's vlog is a day in the life vlog. It's also very exciting because I am going to my 32 week sonogram today and I can't wait to bring you guys along and see what baby Quentin looks like. But first I need to get myself together, do my skincare routine and I wanted to share a new product from BioClarity with you guys that I've been using the past few weeks. It is their new eye depuffing gel. I love this stuff so much. It has done wonders for my under eyes. I usually have black circles under my eyes and I just look so tired, especially being a mom to a little crazy toddler and being 32 weeks pregnant. I just have been loving this stuff and I've been incorporating it into my ultra calming skincare routine. Just by using this product for the past few weeks, I've already seen such a difference in the under eye area of my eyes so I don't even need to use that much concealer anymore. I know so many of you mamas follow me and you have sleepless nights and are just so tired. And the first sign of tiredness I feel like is your under eye area, which is why I feel like this product is a total game changer for us moms. So after I'm finished washing my face, the last step is to use the new I Will Chill. And all you need, you guys, is just one pump that will take care of both of your under eyes. So you get a lot of product and it's so cooling and refreshing. It awakens tired eyes. It tones and tightens and reduces the appearance of puffiness and dark circles, which is what I love about it the most. It does contain Floralux, which is, as you know, my favorite ingredient to improve skin tone and texture. And something really cool about this gel is you can pop it in the fridge the night before and it will just be like a really cooling and relaxing morning eye treat. I know you guys are going to absolutely love this new product from BioClarity. So if you want to try it out, I do have a coupon code for y'all and it is Liza, which is going to save you 40% off any of BioClarity skincare routines plus an additional 15% off and that does include their new I Will Chill. So don't forget to check out the link down below. doctor appointment and sonogram. I'm sorry that I sound like this. I'm still very stuffy. I still have a pretty bad cold. But anyway, um, so Alex and I went to the 4D ultrasound. I have the pictures right here. I cannot wait to share them with you. They're so freaking cute. Um, Alex left right after the sonogram and went home and then I stayed and I had my like regular checkup with my doctor. So, first, I'm just going to tell you how the sonogram went. It went so well. Well, actually, I first got in there. I was laying down, and I was like, so I'm getting the 4D sonogram this time, right? Because as you guys remember, when I was supposed to get it at 20 weeks, she wouldn't do it because she said the baby didn't have enough tissue and would look like a skeleton, and it'd be freaky. So she wouldn't do it even though I had thought that it was going to be done at that time. So I was so disappointed. So I asked her if I was in fact getting the 4D sonogram this time and she was like, well, looks like the baby's actually face down. She's like, we can try, but I don't think we're going to be able to get pictures. And I literally almost started crying. I legit told her to move him. I was like, well, is there a way you can move him around so that we can get some pictures? And she just laughed. I was like, lady, I'm not kidding. So um, she weighed him and he is three pounds, 15 ounces. And she said that that's like perfect for, you know, 32 weeks. He's measuring correctly. His heartbeat was 145, which was great. And um, he's head down, which is perfect. After she did all the measurements and all of that, she went ahead and tried to see if we could see his face. And luckily we could see his face and he's so cute, you guys. At first I was telling Alex, I was like, he doesn't really look like Camden. But then as she kept taking more and more pictures, I was like, wait, no, he kind of does look like Camden. He's like such a cutie and he kept smirking. Let me see if you guys can see this picture. Hold on. So 
I don't know if you guys can see that. He had his arm and his hand like right over his face so we could only get like one side of his face. But he's smirking in that picture and then also in this one. So cute. And then, let's see. Here is another one. And I'll show you one more. Here's one more. They look, look at his little nose and his little lips. Oh my God. Oh, I was just like, seriously, my heart was melting in there when she was showing what he looked like on the monitor. I, I was dying. I was like, he's so cute. He's so precious. And like, now I get to see what he looks like kind of. And it's just, I don't know, it was such like a surreal moment. I'm just so happy that she was able to get the pictures. Then I met with my doctor afterwards and, oh my God, my nose. I weighed myself and I weigh 139. Last time I got weighed uh, about four weeks ago, I was 139.5. So it looks like I lost half a pound, which is fine. Um... She told me for my cold, she said I sounded awful, which I know I do. And since I can't really sleep at night because I'm so stuffed up, she said that she, I could take Tylenol cold, I could take Benadryl, I could even take Sudafed. Normally, I wouldn't take any medications when I'm pregnant. Like, I've never even taken Tylenol. When I, even when I was pregnant with Camden, I'm just such a little wimp. And I'm just so paranoid. But honestly, you guys, I think I might go over to... <laughs> the uh, pharmacy right now pick something up because I am so miserable and then I asked her about my diet and I know you guys have been like waiting to hear about that because it was such a big dilemma but uh, no I said you know what is going on with the test results of the gestational diabetes because I had one doctor tell me one thing and a nurse call me and tell me the other and I want to get your opinion since you're my actual doctor and she said I do not have gestational diabetes. She said two out of four of the test results were a little close, but they, but I still passed. And she said, and even if I had failed one of them, I still would have passed. Cause she said, technically you have to fail two out of the four tests in order to be diagnosed with gestational diabetes. But she said, I passed all four. Um, so she said, as far as like my diet, I don't have to be on any strict diet, but she said, she does agree with what the last doctor told me, not what the nurse said, but just to like watch what I eat, try to not indulge in lots of cupcakes or sweets or anything like that, which usually I don't, but on the weekend I do have my desserts. She said to try to cut back on that. The main thing would be try to stay away from carbs for the most part, like pastas and bread and stuff like that. She said once in a while it's fine to have a bowl of pasta, but for the most part, carbs are just not good for you in general. She's like, even not being pregnant, they're not good for you. But especially when you're pregnant, it's just better to try and stay away from them. So I'm just happy that she really clarified everything for me. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it completely because I love my pizza on the weekends. But maybe instead of having like three slices, I'll just have one. So I don't know if I've even mentioned this to you guys, but I have been bleeding again. So if you guys have been following me for a while, or at least from the beginning of this pregnancy, you guys know that at the end of my first trimester, I started spotting. And it wasn't so much as like red blood, but it was like kind of bloody cervical mucus. And I got a bunch of sonograms done and they checked and they said everything looked fine. And then they found a bloody polyp. And they said that's where the bloody cervical mucus was coming from and it was harmless. Well, then all of a sudden it went away for a few months and I was like, oh, great. The polyp is gone. It must have came out or just disappeared or something. I don't know. But it hadn't happened in so long. Well, a week ago it started happening again and I wasn't really too worried because it was like literally the exact same symptoms as before where it was just bloody cervical mucus, usually when I would have like a bowel movement or something. Um, but in the back of my mind, I'm still like, ugh, it's just, it sucks. To have any kind of blood so I brought that up to my doctor and she said that the sonogram was so like perfect like everything looks so good the fact that the baby's moving around so much things are changing things are moving around she was like it just started bleeding again but she said not to worry about it and it's uh, nothing so I wanted to update you guys on that oh my gosh my sciatic nerve has been killing me I haven't even been like 
when I lay down on the couch to watch TV at night or even like get out of bed to go pee, it literally takes everything in me because it is so painful. Um, and so I brought that up to her and she said just to start like massaging it, maybe put some heat on it, like a heating pad. She said to do a lot of stretches, which will help. So she told me to like bend over and kind of stretch my lower back, lay on my back and then like lift my knees up and kind of stretch those. Um, and she said to do that a few times a day and that will help. So I'm going to start doing that because my back has literally been killing me. But yeah, I think that is everything that we talked about. And I just wanted to update you guys with everything that's been going on lately with my pregnancy and with the sonogram and little Quentin. I'm just so excited that I got these pictures and I can't wait to show Camden. Okay, do you want to see pictures of your baby brother? Okay. Come here. Daddy wants to wait. Daddy wants to see <laughs> what you think. Pick him up and put him on here. What do you think? Yeah, they're pictures of baby brother. Look, see right there? Uh -huh. That's his mouth. That's his eye. That's his nose. This is his hand. He has his hand over his face, like this. Here's another picture. See, his eyes are closed. That's his mouth. What do you think? Does he look like you? Mm -hmm. Who do you think this is? Cam. That's Cam. <laughs> this was you at 40 weeks. This is Cam, Daddy. Yeah. Do you think, do you think baby brother is cute? Mm -hmm. You think he's cute? And I think that's cute too. <laughs> you think you're cute too? You are cute. Okay, so I cut up some veggies for the chicken salad that I'm making. Some carrots, cucumber, red bell pepper, and then some tomatoes. Usually I add an avocado, 
but they were all so bad at the grocery store the other night so I didn't buy any of them because they were disgusting and mushy so this is the lettuce that I'm gonna use for our salads it's just the spring mix and then I also have some organic baby spinach that I picked up from Trader Joe's um, so I want to use some of this up as well I picked these whole grain croutons up. Just like something a little crunchy and salty in my salad. So I'm gonna try these out. And then as far as the dressing, I show this in my grocery haul, but I'm gonna be using the organic um, Bolt House Farms lemon basil. Usually I will also put um, a dollop of the Trader Joe's garlic spread that I'm obsessed with in the salad and mix it up in there and it's like a game changer you guys. It tastes so good in salad with chicken but of course I'm out of it so we're just going to have to go ahead and use this dressing. Okay you guys, I know I look crazy but it is the end of the night. I'm going to go ahead and eat my salad and get ready for bed but i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one mm -hmm.